in the studio we've got an impressive guest from Soleimani deep inside Iraqi Kurdistan. Yes, Stefano Carini is one of the uh, editors-in-chief uh, of Metrography and is the only photo independent agency in Iraq. So Stefano, what is the mission of Metrography? Uh, well, hi everybody. Um, Metrography's mission is to establish a thriving photography and photojournalism industry in Iraq uh, that breaks down ethnic, uh, cultural and religious barriers. Um, it is a group of uh, lo only local photographers uh, who give us uh, unique access to the stories of the country. Um, and we are training them to, to, to inspire a network uh, of photographers in Iraq. And there are some beautiful and confrontational images on your website. What drives you and the photographers to tell these stories despite the obvious dangers? Well, I mean, uh, Kurdistan, in Kurdistan people grow up uh, uh, with war. Uh, war has been here for many, many years. So it's, it's, it's a duty. It's a duty that the photographer has to tell the stories of the country. Um, I mean, Iraqi passports uh, are amongst the worst in the world. Uh, these people can't really leave this country. So since they are photographer, their, their, their duty is to, to tell their story. And uh, at the same time to prove to the world that they can do this job um, now. Yeah. Okay. And can you explain to us how important it is to be one of the independent photo agencies in Iraq? Well, it's uh, vital, it's not important. 99% uh, of the media here is controlled, uh, whether it is by the Iraqi government or the Kurdish uh, regional government or now even by Islamic State. Um, therefore, being the only independent photo agency, it's, it, it's, uh, it's extremely important because without us um, a lot of the stories and the, and the, and, the, and uncensored images uh, wouldn't wouldn't be seen outside of Iraq therefore it's it's not only important but vital for 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 information unfortunately this is the story so far but he's back with us soon to tell us about his latest exhibition in one of the former torture chambers of Saddam Hussein so stay tuned thank you very much Stefano